So we're going to talk about the divisions of the nervous system, different ways to classify or categorize it, um, starting with structural divisions. The other type will be functional divisions um, in the next video. So first structural, and this is going to then introduce some anatomy. Um, the anatomy is going to be a whole chapter in a, later on. So this is an introduction to the anatomy first. We'll see it all in more detail. So the two structural divisions are the central nervous system, which is the brain and spinal cord. So this big thing here, and then spinal cord is just the cord itself, just the central part that I was not able to circle very well. Then we've got our peripheral nervous system. So two, this is composed of the nerves. This is probably what kind of you think of, of peripheral nervous system. Um, Nerves are bundles of axons. And then specifically in the PNS, that's where we are, right? The other component of the peripheral nervous system are actually these little kind of ball things right here. These little balls, we take a guess. Um, these are collections of cell bodies. So there actually are some, not many, collections of cell bodies in the peripheral nervous system. These are called ganglia. One is a ganglion, so in PNS. Um, so these circles I drew, these are inside of each is like a bunch of tiny, it's a different color, um, a bunch of tiny what? Cell bodies of neurons. Also neuroglia, but we're not really talking about neuroglia right now. So all those little red things, each little red thing, a cell body of a neuron, has an axon projecting from it. Um, and actually, I don't really want to draw those that way because these are these are the well, okay, no, we can't. That's fine. <laughs> so multiple axons coming from multiple neurons in one ganglia. One ganglia contains multiple cell bodies. One nerve contains multiple axons. This is important. Um, people get nerves and neurons mixed up quite a bit. Okay. Um, one more thing about the peripheral nervous system. These peripheral nerves come in two types. One is spinal nerves. That's what's shown here. These are all coming from the spinal cord. Um, there also are things called cranial nerves. These come from the brain. So there are nerves that connect to the eyes and nose, um, various regions of the face. Um, these are cranial nerves, part of the PNS. So are there collections of cell bodies in the central nervous system? Why, yes, there are. Collections of cell bodies in the central nervous system are called either nuclei, this is in the brain, so the hypothalamus, the thalamus, any brain region we've talked about is, um, has a bunch of cell bodies in it. That brain region has to communicate with other brain regions. Um, it's gonna do that via the axons, but nuclear collections of cell bodies. In the spinal cord, these are often called horns. Um, horns is where cell bodies are located in the spinal cord. This stuff is gray matter. It's gray. That's what cell bodies look like. We'll see this in the sheep brain. Are there bundles of axons in the central nervous system? There are bundles of axons are going to be called either tracts, tracts, 
or columns. Columns is typically in the spinal cord. And that actually should make sense. Those um, are gonna go this way. That's not a great picture. Bundles of axons that go up and down, sensory up, motor down in the spinal cord. Tracks um, are gonna commonly link one brain region to another. So like hypothalamus to, it's with thalamus, it's somewhere like in here, it's deep, you can't, it's below the cortex. Let's just say this, connecting the thalamus to the cortex. The corpus callosum is a big white matter tract um, that connects one side of the brain to the other. So these, this is white matter. Okay, 